Hello viewers, welcome back again to our 21st session. We are in the topic of family, right? Remember, this topic seems like we, they, 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 they get joined each other, right? From marriage, right? Remember from, um, from, from marriage, we went into family, right? Now, we did introduce types of families, right? Responsibilities of a, ch a, ch a child in a family, responsibilities of, a, of parents in a family. Now today we get to look at what is responsible parenthood, right? Your teacher is Roger Michira, station you're watching is Edim TV. Now class, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to define what responsible parenthood is and also ways in which parenthood is manifested today. How is parenthood manifested what is responsible for parenthood? This uh, is how a parent brings up children morally upright and provides the, ch the children with basic needs such as food, shelter, clothing, education, health care, among other needs. Yes, responsible parenthood. As a parent, you are able to support your children m morally, right? Support them with basic needs. For example, food, shelter, clothing, education, health care, among those other basic, basic needs. Now, there are different types of parenting styles, right? One, we have got authoritative or dictatorship. Dictatorship, the chain of command is from the parents and the decision is final, right? If the parent says today you are taking beef for supper and you didn't feel like taking beef, for your supper. You can't change that. The decision is final. It is, that's what we call dictatorial or authoritative kind of parenting. Today you will only take tea without bread in the morning and that is final. You are not going to oppose that. You can't change that. Right? Good. Then we have got liberal style. Right? Or lysis. Lysis. Uh, lysis vera. Like says fair kind of uh, uh, parenting whereby the children do as they want, right? And this this kind of uh, parenting is not that good, whereby children are getting to decide on what to do, right? Suppose if they decide we 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 going to do for our, for our disco tonight, no, that's another style. That's like says fire, uh, like says fire, whichever you can uh, pronounce it. It terms it, it it depends on where you you are born. That is license uh, fire. And also we have got democratic style, whereby parents discuss with their children on family issues. This is the best kind of uh, parenting style, democratic. Hey baby, what do you want today? What do you want to take for supper? Where do you want us to go, right? How do you want us, how do you want us to do this? No, dad, I want us, uh, at least today we have uh, some, um, some ugali and uh, some, green, some greens, right? Some traditional veggies. Right? No, that is today we don't need to spend much, right? We rather just be home. You see that? That's democratic in decision making. What do you think? Yes, my son, I, I want to go and buy a car. What, what kind of car do you really want me to buy? And uh, you see that? That is democratic style of parenting. And this is one of the best in family. Now, what about a responsible parent? What, who is he or who is she? Brings positive role model or is a positive role model to their children? Are all models, their children, right? Think of that father who comes home drunk, yes, very dirty, you know. Uh, you see that? Imagine that. Who drives children away from home when he comes, right? You should be a role model. And that understands the roles and responsibilities in providing physical need for the family, right? Now, I've just stated two responsibilities of a parent. I've, we, we, we have got responsibility three, we have got responsibility four, and responsibility five on your screen. Now, class, can you go through those responsibilities and internalize them uh, accordingly for our, for, for our task? Class, can you give to state the advantages of a, tradi of a traditional African society, of a family, and also what are the obligations of a traditional African family? As always, this is the Libby TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Contact us via contact address that is on your screen. Your teacher was Roger Michira and stay tuned in for another session.